Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines and Simon Yarmi. So yeah, um, today we're just gonna work on this side, to be honest. Uh, this side of uh, the river. Um, I think that today's episode will be a shorter one. Just because, um, it's quite late when I'm doing this recording session. And, um,. Yeah, I've still got stuff to do after this, so it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode today. But who knows, I've said that before, and I've done like a ridiculously long video, so you never know. But I'm saying it right now. So yeah, we're going to be doing um, some work on this side of the island. Or this side of the river, rather. actually get one road connection I, mean, I want to utilize all the space available that's not what I meant to do I meant to go over there because I don't know how to do stuff That will go out to here as well, and then just bring that down a bit. Yep. And then this side of the island, well, this side of the river will also be high density. Stuff down there. I don't even know what to do here because I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a really, really terrible place to live. So, this might be like, I don't know, cheaper housing or something. I'll get this to be backed up with officers up onto the highway. I'll get this over here to be um, residential though. We'll get just a little piece of uh, office zoning in there. Yeah. And uh, just some right there. And then, um, We'll check all of that in a second, but uh, first of all, connectivity, so pathways.
Alright, and so I've got some things here. Oh, that didn't actually even ruin my curve. I think that I'm going to get three tram stops here. The last will be like under here, so it'll kind of service this general area. Level it with that, okay. Get out of move it. That wasn't hard, was it now? Now we'll just do something like that and then I'll get um a pedestrian crossing right there. Well, I'm pressing everything now. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I forgot that side. I'm not zoning on that side of the road. There we go. I'll get something like that for now. Elementary school. This area doesn't really fit. Fit the type of area to have a school. I mean, down here certainly, but just not in this little section. It's too small and awkward to get anything in it. Alright then. Is anybody using the tram? Alright then, my keyboard does not work. That's good. That does again. I mean, we've got some people using the tram. Nobody's using this last stop, which is fair enough. Twenty people total going to this side from over there, but over here we've already got seventy-one more people getting on, and two two people getting off. Is there ninety people going over here? Wow! Almost everybody gets off there. We only have thirty-seven passengers heading off to the next stop, and every single one of those thirty-seven gets off there. This tram stop, I've just realised, is completely useless. Because there's nothing over here. I mean, eventually I'll probably move it along. 
I'll probably move this stop along just at this intersection. Or actually, I don't know. I might keep it there, I'd like it there. So that'll come out that way. All right, just get something like that going on there. Actually, going from here to there, the far—I oh, mean, that's not actually that bad to go around like that. It's not efficient, but it's not very inefficient either. It's like it could be improved, but currently, it's not like desperately in need of improvement. So 91 passengers on the tram. So this stop is clearly less favoured compared to this stop. I mean, people still use that stop as opposed to this stop, which has well, it has a few people using it. it has 11 people using it. got a handful of people here I had 10 people not bad well I mean it is actually pretty bad but it's not terrible do you have people cycling or using the um, the bike pass that I've got We've got a couple of people. There really should be a connection from here. Okay, there we go. I got it to snake in and around uh, up to there. So I have it going b around both sides of the Cherry Residence. I mean, fair enough, that is, that is a slope. 
that is a slope. So there's nobody going to be using this river except for maybe like a tiny little speedboat. There's a bunch of low bridges on here. So that's automatically already a success. There's no bike path over here actually. That said, there's really no need for one. I mean, there's one over here. And then it, like, joins up eventually up to this bridge here. We have a lot of people using the tram. 790 plus 31 tourists. 237 people using the uh, uh, the bus. If we add one more bus to this line, might improve it. Bus line number three doesn't have as many people using it. Oh, that actually doesn't know where near as many people using it, so I'm not going to do anything to it. And then trams, we have this tram that just has the one tram running along it. Number two. Um, so it just has a few people using it. I mean, that said, I don't expect a lot of people to use it because it's not very long at the moment. And then there's this tram that doesn't have very many people using it. It, it. it doesn't have that many stops, but it is quite a long tram line. And then there's this one that has a lot of people using it. The trams are constantly filled. I feel like this little um, I think okay, not that big. Thirty two is fine though. Ah, oh, you see, it got rid of my tram road. How are we going to do this just to uh, go straight through the middle? Yeah, that makes sense. Enter the intersection. I'm not going to allow trams to enter the intersection. Just because why the hell would I do that? What the hell is going on? No, there's no bloody traffic lights. I wish that I could make it so that the uh, the roundabout yields to the tram, and then everybody that's not on the roundabout yields to the people on the roundabout, and then the tram has full priority.
don't have, we don't actually have anything in terms of parks on this side of the river. That said, there isn't really a place to get anything. I will not get a skate park because I don't actually have a skate park. I would have gotten a skate park though. I don't feel like getting anything over here. I think it'll just kind of ruin it. Increase the value of the land. Alright, so this area is pretty useless, but I mean, we'll get stuff over here eventually. I don't know how long this tram line will be, though. I don't think it'll go very much further than Sunnyside City Park in this sort of area. Eventually we'll also get a train line kind of thing going, al uh, going along here. <laughs> we'll just get this nice large road in the middle of nowhere. Well actually in the middle of the city just get a bunch of trees on all sides I think that just getting a few trees will make this area so much nicer just something like that, I mean that already makes it look a little bit nicer Whoops. I haven't done very much this episode, but that said, I didn't want to do very much this episode. Where's our traffic hotspot? Okay, there's actually a pretty big problem down there. The rest of it's actually fine. This area is superb. This area for the most part is really good. There's this intersection which is a little bit worrying, but it's not that bad actually. These roundabouts are holding up. I mean the roundabouts are the sketchy. The sketchy parts. I mean there's this roundabout over here, that's the really sketchy one. And so the problem isn't actually the roundabout, it's the this road over here, the traffic light. The problem here is that there are too many traffic lights everywhere. I think that this intersection should be a small roundabout as well, just because of how much more popular this highway entrance exit has become. I mean, we do have this highway, technically, this entrance exit over there feeding Garnet Square as well. So I think that if we just turn this into a roundabout, 
albeit a very small one, but I don't know if that'll fix the problem because the roundabout that's too small will actually only add to traffic issues. Actually, I think that that's good. The problem here is also pedestrians. I don't know how to make it better for pedestrians though. I think that that improved it a little bit. 75% apparently. 79%, 78%. Yeah, I think that that roundabout improved the situation a little bit. Just one last thing to check is actually city statistics. Population changes. No, oh, it went down and then it went up again. That's nice. Influx. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Influx. Birth rate has gone down. Death rate. Man, it's pretty steady. Employment percentage is up there. Oh my god, it went down very low over there. Students has gone up again. Tourists has gone down. Actually, tourist tax income out of happiness, ninety percent or so. Where's my cyclists? Yeah, it was like pretty high, and then it went down a bit, and then it skyrocketed, and now we're at three hundred and fifty. I don't know what the hell it means by cyclists. Is it like people that are cycling cycling currently? Or people that own a bike, or what is it? Oh, I just realised that this intersection has a traffic light. It's probably a little bit unnecessary for that small of an intersection to have a traffic light on it. Wait, no. Now it traffic lights there either. Um, a traffic light here is probably still necessary because that is a main road. I like how if you overshoot your braking mark you end up on the train tracks. Not that anybody should overshoot their braking mark. But I'm just saying, if you happen to overshoot your braking mark, you're going to be on the train tracks, which is nice. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I told you, I didn't accomplish very much, I just got this done. I mean, which is something. And then we built a roundabout, and I think that's literally all we did. But I'll see you guys in the next one, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless, and goodbye.